moving on to a project <clears throat> known as Glitter, a project that you had conceived of and nurtured and and I know meant Attempted a lot to, to you. Attempted to nurture. Attempted to nurture. <laughs> but didn't turn out to be the project you had originally no, envisioned. No, right? it was a different concept from the start. And what I learned is unless you have somebody really, really on your side who's very knowledgeable about um, and powerful in the Hollywood system, you know, working with you to develop an idea of that nature, it can totally get screwed up. Like, do I think it was the worst thing ever made on earth, the way they sounded, you know, the way they made it sound? No, there's still some little cute parts that I would laugh at if I saw them, like, oh, cute, whatever. You know, was I thrilled with it? No. <laughs> The album um, didn't exactly do Mariah Carey type numbers. But it wasn't a Mariah Carey album, it was a soundtrack. And that's another thing people neglect to say. In terms of soundtracks, it was like the fifth most successful soundtrack that year. And Loverboy was the number one selling single of the year. And you can check it with Billboard. And I it's like, you. <laughs> you can check <laughs> not, that with Billboard, I'm not, John. I'm not doubting you. <laughs> it did sell for Loverboy, 49 cents per copy. Or, well, doesn't or, every single thing sell? No, no, yes. no, it did. Not yeah. everyone. There were right. extended oh, there was, mixes okay. that were like $2 or whatever. Okay. There, my fans like a nice, you know, bunch right. of extended mixes. And no, I know. Versions. They buy every version under the sun if they can. Yeah, yeah, so we shouldn't go to that place. <laughs> and then, of course, not a whole lot of time after that came um, the split with your label at the time, Virgin. Yeah. I mean, the, the this sort of like triple, I, I don't know what you want to call it, disappointment or, or whatever you want to call it, period of, you know, this Physical exhaustion. depletion and exhaustion. Right. Glitter and everything that happened with that. And then splitting with the label. I mean, when you look back on it, is it are you are you angry at yourself for some of the stuff that went on? Are you sad about it? Are you, do you feel like it's a lesson learned? I feel like it's a lesson learned. Um, am I sad about certain things? Of course, but I can't turn back the hands of time. If I could, I would protect myself in other ways that would have started years before that. It was about learning to take care of myself in a lot of ways. And But in terms of last year, no, I feel like I learned a lesson and I'm glad I learned it now rather than down the road with three kids or something like that. You know what I mean? I feel like I learned a lesson and I feel like, you know, if you can keep getting hit and hit and hit and you still get up, then you're all right. You Among the people that you were uh, romantically linked with for a while, there was uh, Eminem. Was there anything to that? To the romantically linked? Heartbreak, you got the best of me, but I just keep 